Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I'm Nai. I'm Mako, and it's time we blew this popsicle stand. I have a Twizzler. I, I just thought that was important to let people know I have a Twizzler. Okay. Turn to Wonderland. Ah, there's a trophy. The rabbit hole. Okay. So I have a choice between this world and that Battle world. level 3 stars, battle level 2 stars. I would recommend the battle level 2 stars. Here's the problem. In order to do that, I gotta go through two Garmy ship missions. Hmm. It then strings them together. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm pretty sure it strings them both together if you stick your code right between them all together. You can't. You have mm. to go back to the world. It doesn't give you a chance. So we gotta do this entire thing. This is one of the reasons I do not like Garmy missions in this game. We get to fix it later. They eventually give me the option to just teleport straight to worlds I've been to already. But, um... Not for a while. Right. Anyway, uh, while we're at it, the, pro the Protect G where it's picking up... We've mentioned their gummy parts, ships... Gummy, gummy ship parts. Um, just because I feel like pointing it out. What we're getting, the Protect Gs... And if it's got a name like a attack spell, it's a kind of weapon. If it's got a name like Scan or whatever, it's a, it's a, it's a sort of secondary part. If it's, say, Protect G, Protega, whatever, Shell, it's a piece that you use to build the hull and sort of affects your hit points. Mm hmm Don't really expect me to at all in any meaningful way actually do that. I have no interest in building this game. At all. Once you want to get everything, you're going to have to do some at some point. I'll add a single weapon to this ship. Actually, I'll probably add more than that, because it makes my life easier, but... I could, I would send you. I really would, but... Unfortunately, my cheatsy ship from, from hell in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 does not work in this game. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we've arrived back at Traverse Town. And there's actually something I need to do here. I forget what that is. Oh, mission complete. New high score. I mm -hmm. forgot about those. So now mission one is 100% complete because I went back, I went one way and then went back the other way. Yep. Okay. Wheel G, it, you couldn't work it out. One, it's a wheel. Two, I think it affects your movement speed. Yep. Deep freeze. Deep freeze. Mm -hmm. See ya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deep freeze. Put out all of the uh, candles, and now you can open the treasure chest. Jingly beep. Which gives you defense up. Much needed. Yep. Next, we have 1,700 money. Yes, that was grammatically correct. So we need to go and buy stuff. So we will talk to Huey, Dewey, and Louie. We're going to buy items. Now, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, um, if, you if you chat with them, they'll actually straight up say they're gathering money to go so they can travel. Because mm -hmm. it hadn't worked, hadn't worked out. They are not from around here. So, the choices here... Um... These are just weapons and armor, or weapons for uh, Goofy and Donald. So the Morning Star uh, gives you more uh, magic, magic power, attack, magical magic attack, whereas Warhammer gives you more physical attack for Donald. But the Warhammer reduces max MP by one. And then for Goofy, the Smasher gives base more attack than defense. Staff Shield gives more defense than attack. I think I want the Smasher and uh, the Morning Star. I think there's like there's an technically there's an achievement for having one of everything, but you don't you don't have to get them right now. You can always come back and buy. Actually, I want to. Can we just fill up on that, please? <laughs> I could have given them directly to these guys, but um, best not to do that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and make sure that Sora has potions. Don't want either. That's fine. Don't want it. Give me potions. And you take a potion. And you take a potion. 
And Goofy gets potions from hell. Eventually, Donald will be a better healer than Goofy, but right now, Goofy's a better healer than Donald. Okay. Next, customize. Customize Donald. Okay. This is where things get interesting. So I'm going to be able to customize Don and Goofy's um, style. So this will I get to decide how I want them to work. So, Donald, I want you to constantly regular attack, frequently offensive attack, um, occasional defensive, occasionally advanced magic, HP items only in emergency, MP items only in emergency. So this tells Donald that I want him to attack a lot. I only occasionally want him to use attack magic because I want him to save it. And uh, defensive magic... Uh, he will use only occasionally, so that's basically when I need him to. And advanced magic, which is stuff like reflect, only when I need him to. So that's uh, that's that. Goofy. I want him to attack constantly. Special attacks, frequently. Shield techniques, frequently. Support actions, occasionally. Only in emergency. The really important thing about that is the only in emergency um, HP items. This lets them know to not use HP items until I'm less than, I think it's 33% healthy. So they're less likely to just waste their MP, or waste their items. The problem with doing it that way is there is a somewhat significant chance that by telling them to not use it until emergencies, that they may not use it in time. So, there's that. Okay, now time for mission two. The battle, uh, the battle level that I was talking about is how hard the le the game is. It's not the level you need to be to beat the, uh, beat the world. It's how difficult it is compared to other worlds. It's sort of roughly, it's it's it's, it's a star rating of how much ow the enemy will bring there. Yep. What's also important to note, though, is that the gummy ship mission is uh, difficulty is proportional is proportional to the uh, difficulty of the world. To a lesser or greater extent. Radius, this is not. They don't they don't give you any incentive to care about gummy missions in this. I mean two at least there's unlocks and there's score and stuff like this. This not so much. There's score, but why? Okay. I, I get one point for everything I kill. Okay. You get one point for just about everything. That's yeah. the thing. Like st stuff you pick up counts as score as well. Yep. So it's like, well, that's that's special. Thank you, I guess. That's a special. Thank you, I guess. Mhm. Mm I think the other problem I have with the government missions is they go on entirely too long. <laughs> in this. The, the other mission should have just ended, just now, but it goes into phase two. I'll never understand what the hell they were thinking with all these rings. Or these damn asteroids. The asteroids piss me off. I take entirely too many shots. Okay, kill these guys. By the way, you don't, uh, the, the blueprint for these, for, uh, enemies, you don't get it on the first one you kill, it is a random drop. I usually end up getting that in the first one. Mm -hmm. But, but it's not again, guaranteed. Like, but then again, like you managed to beat the ever-loving snot out of that boss, and I have way too much trouble with it, so... So we're now at the Olympus Coliseum from Disney's Hercules. Neat. This is one of my favorite worlds. By a long ways, actually. Hmm. I... The Colosseum is fun, but... I don't know. I got bored of it after a while. I've always had a special place in my heart for, uh... For Colosseum-based things. Um, any game I play, if you ever... Like, anybody who's watched the channel for a while knows that if there's a game with, like, an arena, I have a... I tend to really enjoy the arena. Hmm. Because it, it's very much a, uh... Not necessarily a skill-based thing, but it makes you feel good about how powerful you are, and they tend to be tests of power. As opposed to just go do things. 
there, it's a specific level of power you're supposed to have in order to beat that particular thing. So it's kind of, it's a good way to like let you know, hey, you're you're more powerful than you were before. Three more puppies. And let's go in. In case people were wondering, there are prizes for those, It's but you, you have to go back and claim them manually. It takes a little while. Hey, Phil. How's it going? Um, good so. timing. Give me a hand, will you? What do I give you a hand in? Over there for me? I gotta spruce this place up for the games. I, I really like that. Just, just move that. Um, okay. Hold on. Don't worry, I got this. Totally got this. Moving it. It's happening. Have you noticed that his feet have absolutely no friction whatsoever? Mm -hmm. How does he walk? I mean, let, let's ignore the clown shoes for a second. How does he walk? Okay, how about this way? We can move it this way. Ready? Did they grease the floor? I will say this. They have really high fidelity shadows in this. Mm hmm. Okay, well, that's not happening. It's way too heavy. What? Too heavy? I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Such a little... I really enjoy that he somehow fails to understand oh, that I'm not Hercules. What are you doing here? Did you notice that he just he thinks I'm Hercules because he apparently he can't remember this guy remember Hercules' voice, only. which is in no way Sora's voice. For so run along, pip really upset Sora's pouting. Look, it's like this. Also, Unibrow. Big one. Right here in the I'd love to fight ferocious monsters here in the Coliseum. Yep, he's a real hero. This Tell guy, them. hero, Lucky this boy. one. And real heroes too. And Phil's response is Hero that front. <laughs> Probably the best response ever, to be honest with you. What's so funny? I fought a bunch of monsters. Actually we've probably killed over two hundred monsters by now. Or more. Hey. I was say, dude, you really ain't got in a position to start calling us names. I really love it. if you can't move this. You can't <laughs> and Sora's just, uh huh, sure, thud. Yes, Phil. Can I help you? Okay, so it takes more than And somehow, by not doing a damn thing, we proved that we at least have a, uh, should have a chance at this. <clears throat> yep. Like I said, you know, Phil, you really ain't got a got a. Uh, Thing to stand on there. Yep. I really dislike this mission. Come on. It's not hard, but it's just more obnoxious than it has any right to be. So just break all the barrels, right? Pretty easy. But they decided to bring this back for two, and they made it more obnoxious. Actually, twos was a lot easier now. To get the Gemini Journal mark? To just, have, to just like, do it. You have to get that far first. Now we got more. On, and this is where it's obnoxious. Yeah, this is where things start to go annoying. Yeah, um, Mako, you haven't gotten the Jimmy Journal mark on Maniac, have you? No, no, I haven't. Yeah. I. This is cakewalk what, compared listen, to that. We're, we're, this is what I'm go, going back to the. Oh, I didn't. I hit it entirely the correct direction. Um, the barrels are designed in a very specific way. They seek other barrels. Uh, enemies do this too. If you can force an enemy, or if you hit certain enemies, they'll be knocked into other enemies, and this can actually kill them. It doesn't ever come up much, but there are certain times where you need to know this. Especially in Kingdom Hearts 2. Looks like I'm headed for the games. Afraid not. Nope. Not? You can't go to the Two games. Words. You guys ain't heroes. Come on. And there and there's Goofy counting. Still such a good joke. 
Okay, he's going to give us a new spell. And now we have Thunder. Okay. Uh, I'm ready for the games. Okay, well, that's that. And out we go. <sighs> so we effectively came here just for Thunder. But we do get to meet this guy. Uh, rather a stubborn old goat, wouldn't you say? Who are you? Hey, hold on there, Fuzzboy. I think this actually is, uh, it's, is James Woods. The games, right? I think so. I think it's the name. I, we actually do get him in here, and I love that. Yeah, they got a lot of the original uh, voice actors. Let me look it up since, well, while you're doing it's that. <laughs> Good luck, kid. I'm pulling for you, little shorty. They got a lot of them, and of course, the ones that they couldn't get, typically, there was no way to get. Uh. Okay, so I just gave Sora the Ifrit's Horn, which has a little bit of defense while also giving me AP, which means I can equip Slapshot. Yep, that's oh, that's sorry. James Woods. I cannot believe I remembered his name. Uh, I love James Woods. He's so good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take off Rocket, because I actually don't really like it, and we're going to get charged instead. Okay, and right back in we go. I, just, I, I, I love I love his voice, and I love how it, the deadpan reads he can pull off. I got a pass. Can we enter the games? Start with the preliminaries. Those are some real weirdos signed up. Could they be heartless? Nah. Couldn't be. So the Olympus Coliseum preliminaries. So first we go against Shadow Scout. So this is the first time we see the blue no um blue, blue Nocturne? No, it's red Nocturne, blue uh blue see, I think. Rapsy, Hang on. Rapsy, that's it. Again, I'll look at this up. It's a it's a very specific name. I said them all like last episode the episode before. Red Nocturne, Blue Rhapsody, Yellow or is it Blue Jazz? Yeah, there's this is, I can barely I can be lucky if I remember what I had for breakfast three days ago. Um, oh, wait. It's a dude. The game just slowed down. It's someone special. We're getting slow-mo. Red, Noctur Red Nocturne, Blue Rhapsody, Yellow Opera, Green Requiem. Okay, Jazz must be the uh, King of Hearts 2 version. Because the name's changed. Hmm. So, yep, it's Cloud. We have to fight him. Luckily, you're not forced to beat him. So we, uh, we do have uh, Thunder now, and I actually rather like Thunder for a couple reasons. It's a bit random, you can't be guaranteed it's going to work very well, but it does a fair amount of damage. It does very good damage, and if you can aim it right, it's, it's, it is fairly effective at what it does. Mm -hmm. Now the only unfortunate thing about the Colosseum in this is that it's non-stop, you don't get a chance to take a break. So I'm leveling up, but I'm not going to actually have a chance to use it. <laughs> this is actually another good place to come if you want some experience points. Oh, definitely. Yeah, if you want experience, the cool thing about this is in this game, you actually get experience in here. If I remember correctly, in Kingdom Hearts uh, 2, you do not get experience in the, uh, in the call scene. I think like it, it, it in the very first one at least you don't it, it some of them have like they explicitly state you do do you do not yeah oh, yeah you do get it here unfortunately um you don't necessarily get a big chance uh to use it very much later on in the game the experience is only good at certain times during the game is the problem <laughs> I like leading some of these fights off with a quick blizzard. Even though we do have the blue guys here who don't get affected by it. In fact, I think they might be healed by it. Um, it's kind of nice to have. Oh, anyway, something we forgot to mention. You do you do gain magic just for beating the crap out of things. Yep, just a little bit. Not so if you, much, but... you know, if you're running out of magic, you do have a chance to uh, keep going. Okay, this I could do without. The victory screen... Yeah, they fight. do that after every fight. Fire! Unfortunately, um, you know, fire only hits one guy at a time. And these guys aren't weak to uh, thunder. 
They're weak to fire. Do the thunk it. Not doing badly though. Now we do have uh, we do have Berserk on, but I'm not sure if I want to use it. Like if I want to rely on that. Because when you're in when you're in red line, uh, when you're hearing that annoying beep, you do more damage. Yeah, it's good until you have nothing else to do with it. Yeah. Nothing you know it's good as it's good as long as you have nothing else to do with that AP. Uh oh. Don't blow it. Just take him out. Uh oh. The of the underworld is afraid of a kid. Okay. Sorry, but my contract says. I know. You think I don't know? I wrote the contract. Oh, here it is. Says you're only required to kill Hercules in this tournament. You're hearing the twist. But you gotta fight that kid to get to him. Come on. So this is one of those fights that you're not yeah, like that forced to win. Rule number eleven. It's all just a game. So let loose and have fun with it. I love that Hades knows Phil's rules. I mean, a casualty or two along the way. It's no big deal, right? That just says everything, doesn't it? Just, I just love that deadpan look on him. Stiffer than the stiff's bag home. Still, suckers like him Okay. Like <laughs> so we have to fight Cloud. Cloud is a really hard fight. He is. He is not. Um, he's not a pushover. I don't think I'm gonna win. You're not forced to win, thankfully. Uh, you do not have to win against Cloud. But um, if you don't do. You? You don't have to. Uh, if I remember correctly, in this specific fight, he's, op he's an optional win. There are other fights against Cloud that you have to do where he's no longer optional. Okay, tech that. I want to get rid of the large body before I deal with the other guys, just because he does the most damage out of anything here. Crap, 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 crap. Thank you. And I really miss reaction plans. I don't. I think they, I think they were really bad. They, they are insanely useful. Especially they are, they make guys the game insanely like easy. I don't like reaction commands. I don't like them at all. Sorry to people who like them. I don't. My apologies. Okay. Now it's against Cloud. Is that the best you can do? And I can't. I know what he does. I just okay. I think you can tech him. The problem is, I I think you can tech him, but I don't think you can counter him or stagger him in any meaningful way. Come on, do Not your thing. Not as you are now. I don't think. I think you can get two hits in. Uh, this is a fight you can win, by the way. This is not a forced lose. It helps if Donald and Goofy are not dead. But might be big if they decided to go toe to toe against Cloud, and it didn't work very well for them. What's oh well, that's right. I haven't gotten to phase two yet. There we go. I was wondering when he would do that. So he has this that. During phase two, there I got the tech. Nice. During phase two, he will uh, start doing that dash a lot more often. Right up until the point that Cloud counters you and Climb Hazards your butt. Well, luckily I get to beat the crap out of Cloud. Come on. And he just took out Donald again. Whoop, nope, no, no, no. I think not, sir. Okay, unfortunately, D Donald and Goofy are down again. Oh, damn it. Come on, you. Go away. No. See, so now he's just doing it. Yeah. He's probably down to his last little bit of health. He is. So what'll happen is he, he'll he do dash, I think it's what, four dashes, I believe, and then he does uh, an aerial dive. 
Mm-hmm. One. Oh, he's not doing it. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. One. Nope. Let's let Goofy the crap out of him. That sounds like a good idea. Goofy, can you hit him, please? Man, Goofy doesn't have... Goofy does not yet have the best attack in the entire game. Yeah. He's not more god than man yet. Or more god than dog. Or whatever the hell he is. Come on, do things. Do the thing I want you to. Any one of the attacks that makes you vulnerable. That attack makes you vulnerable, fine. One. Nope. Donald, can you... The problem is he, um... He kills Don Goofy in basically one hit, because this is... It's kind of... It's not scripted for you to lose, but you are supposed to lose this. You're expected to lose. Yeah. That and Donald and Goofy don't revive with a lot of health. And unfortunately, this isn't Kingdom Hearts 2 that has, um... The easy get MP back thing. Yeah. That Donald... That Donald and everybody gets in Kingdom Hearts 2. You don't get that in this. Mm. Nope. Two, three, four. Ah, he didn't do the jump. I'm so surprised you haven't gotten scanned. Three, four. I don't have any. I don't have any heals anymore. I'm out of heals. <laughs> Damn it! I might lose this anyways. I'm doing so well, and I might lose anyways. I don't think you get anything for winning, do you? I, I think there's a little something. There's at least a cutscene. Donald's up. Donald, do you have heals? Do you have any manner of heals? Got him. He doesn't. Uh, 80 Ooh. experience. So he doesn't have Donald Cure yet, so I don't think you're yeah. quite in the, in the clear yet. This cutscene, this is kind of a big deal. Cloud, am I a boss? I think I'm a boss. And then Cloud gets stepped on. <laughs> Crunch. I don't know if you... Do you get that if you don't win? I think he walks out otherwise. Yeah, he just... He just got stepped on. <laughs> oh, he'll get better. Yeah. And here's Hercules saving our buns. Get them out of here. <laughs> Unfortunately... There's no way we could have done that fight anyways, because we're completely out of healing items. Don't forget to re-equip your stock when you next get an opportunity. We have to save when you next get an opportunity. I should be able to handle him. This doesn't look good. Well, I think that's a hint, Mako, that maybe we should go see how Herc's doing. Nah, it couldn't possibly be that obvious. Oh, okay. But, uh, that is gonna be it for this episode guys I'm gonna go ahead and re-equip my stock of stuff we that was almost all of my potions there too all the potions we had just earned just bought well buying is a kind of earning in my opinion I don't know if I wanna I don't know if I want to um use those high potions should I use those high potions mm, nah save them there's too early to be using high potions does anybody have anywhere near 60 health? No. Do we have any equipment? No. Okay. Well, folks, we'll see you guys next time. When we do, we were going to go save Herc. We'll see you soon.